St. Benedict's Walking God's Ways. Hi St. Benedict's, it's Miss Locke and Mrs. Hickey here and we're going to talk to you today a little bit about something that's one of our main focal points of our newsletter this week and that is our annual Rosie's Appeal. Now Rosie's is an organisation that we have been giving to and donating to as a school community for over eight years now and we don't want to stop now so I'm going to hand over to Mrs. Hickey to tell you a little bit more about who Rosie's are. Thank you Miss Locke. Rosie's is a non-profit, non-for-profit organisation, Catholic organisation that reaches out to those who are doing it tough. Um, either they don't have a home, they're struggling with um, with with, li with life, yeah, really, with life. with life. You'd have to say. So it's one of my favourite times of of the year when we reach out to help those who are struggling. We support Rosie's. Now I've brought along, I know it's all in the newsletter. I'll help you, Mrs. You help me. All right. So for those who are new to St. Benedict, you might wonder what are the care packs we're talking about? So every little bit helps. Um, so we're asking, as per the newsletter, each year level to bring along an item, if you can, to support those less fortunate than ourselves. There's also a wish list that you saw. Some now, food I've, items in I've, the wish list. Yeah, I've got a couple of samples for you to see. Some warm socks that I have put in here as well. So a couple of those things would be tucked into the, um, the care pack. And when people visit the Rosie's van, they do a weekly, uh, we support Rosie's at Caboolture. And they go out, hail, rain or shine, even if it's Christmas day on every Friday night. So um, anyone then can, I'm sure a lot of the folk would be so delighted to receive a little care pack. So one of our most important outreach initiatives uh, at St. Benedict's, and as Mrs. Hickey said, one of her favorites, one of mine too. So one that lots of people can get involved in. So check the newsletter for the items for each year level. And we know um, that our generosity of St. Benedict's will always shine through and that um, all of those products will go to a really, really deserving people. So thank you so much, everyone. And I'm going to hand over to Mr. Davis because he has something else really exciting to talk about. Thank See you, everyone. everyone. Thanks for your support. Thanks, Ellen and Helen. That was really important information about the Roses Appeal. It's such an important initiative to get behind parents. So uh, see what you can donate over the next couple of weeks and we can help those people less, less fortunate than ourselves. Uh, Mums and dads, it's our work and be tomorrow. Um, we've postponed this work and be a number of times now. I'm so sorry because of the weather, but we're gonna try and crack at it tomorrow. We've got a few, about 19 people who've said they come, but we ideally, ideally, I'd like about 30 if possible, um, just to get all the jobs done. So don't worry about it. if you haven't uh, put your name forward, 7.30 in the morning, we'll be done by 10.30, hopefully. Um, I won't keep you all morning, and then you'll get, be able to get on with your weekend. Bit of mulching, bit of cleaning, bit of weeding, bit of gardening, and uh, I'll feed you and I'll water you at the end with a sausage and a nice soft drink. Hey, I hear some noise over here. I found some kids. So, hi kids. Hi. All right, now kids, I have heard a little rumour that the disco is next Friday. Is that right? Yes! The disco is next Friday. Now, what's the theme for the disco? Does anybody know? Yeah. Clash of the Fandoms. Clash of the Fandoms. Who's excited about the disco? Me! Awesome. Now, what are you wearing? Can I ask a few of you what you're wearing? All right, I'm going to point to some people. And what are you wearing? Big voice. Spider-Man, that sounds so cool. What are you wearing? Aurora. Aurora? Ooh, that sounds fancy. That's, what are you wearing? That's someone in Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. What about our big girls at the back? One, two, three, Bianca? Uh, Valkyrie came from a book. Oh, wow. Barbie. Barbie? <laughs> Harry Styles. Harry, oh, Harry Styles. <laughs> no one said Mr. Davis yet. Mm, I'm a bit worried about that. Uh, what are you wearing? Mr. Davis. Oh, thank you, Mr. Davis. <laughs> what are you wearing? Barbie. Barbie. What are you wearing? Thin one. Thin one? Evergreen. Charlie, what are you wearing? Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants. <laughs> what are you wearing, Michael? Uh, I haven't decided. You're still thinking, aren't you? <laughs> yes, mate. What are you wearing? <laughs> You're still thinking? <laughs> Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Oh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Anyone else who I haven't asked yet what they're wearing? Yes. My, she's coming as herself because she's a fan of herself. <laughs> now, boys and girls, 
this disco is going to be so amazing. And I found Mrs. Cook here. Mrs. Cook, nice to see you. Are there any final details about the disco and for next Friday? Today, and me, of course, yes. Um, there'll be a fly coming home next week on Monday in everybody's bag with lots of um, frequently asked questions and um, details about what will be available in the night. Quicker is open until 8 o'clock next Wednesday. So before the origin starts, get your uh, get your disco tickets in and those food packages will still be available until that point too. Um, but yeah, volunteers, more information coming out for you next week. Um, but I think that's about it. It's ripping. It's going to be a great yeah, night, everybody. Can't wait to have this fun next Friday. Um, can you give us your best move? Give us your best dance move. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Thanks guys. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.